Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have Acer Nitro gaming laptop. In this video, I'll be taking things apart and show you how to upgrade the RAM, M.2 drive, maybe change the battery or change the CPU fan. Pretty much the video here is a teardown disassemble on this Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop. Let me show you the model number. If you turn it around, if you look at the back of your computer, it says N20C1, or the model of this is Acer Nitro AN515-55. Okay, so the first thing you like to do is to get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. A Phillips screwdriver, I'll be using the electric one. Alright, once you have all the screws removed, the next step is to pry open the plastic cover. I am going to use the metal prying tool just to get underneath of the plastic. Okay, once I have the opening here, I'm going to use the plastic prying tool to make the separation on the plastic cover so if you use the plastic you can run around along the, the cover without making a scratch to that okay if I use the metal I might scratch the plastic afterwards okay so once you have the plastic removed the, the back cover removed you get to see your entire laptop here okay I'm gonna do a little bit walk through what you're looking at at least you get an idea of what i'm talking about here is your laptop battery this is the one that holds on to uh, to give power to the computer this is the m.2 drive this is your wi-fi card cpu fan both of them this is your copper cpu gpu heatsink where it draws the heat from the CPU and the graphics card, transfer the heat over to, to the copper pipe, and the fan would exhaust away from the computer on this side and that direction. This is your DDR4 8 gigs of RAM. And the motherboard is the blue at the bottom here. It's all, all what we call the logic board. Alright, so the first thing I like to do is to disconnect the battery. Let's go ahead and get this tape off. What you can do is to slide the connector down towards your body. You just slide it down to disconnect. Remove the screw. Only two screws. And there you have it. Okay. If your battery is not holding the charge, or if you can see the battery is swollen, or there's a lump on the battery, that means that the battery needs to be replaced. This is a brand new laptop. So this is a working battery and it's brand new and it's all flat. Okay. So let me show you the model here. You probably need to look it up AP18E7M or you can check out the um, model number here by this date right here. KT004011. 
7009. Alright, so that is for your battery. Now here's the DDR RAM. You can add additional RAM here. So there are two slots, 8 gigs and 8 gigs. That would be 16 gigs for you. Or you can do 16 and 16 that goes up to 32. Let's go ahead and remove the M.2 drive. Slide it to your left. This is 256 gigabyte M.2 drive, Western Digital. You can actually upgrade it to a larger one. Assuming this is the one terabyte, you can clone everything over from this to your new one terabyte by buying this USB adapter. This adapter here allows you to plug it into your USB site on the laptop and clone everything over from this to that. And what I'll do is I'll link them in the description below where you can buy all the tools from. You can get them from Amazon or eBay. Okay, so let's go ahead and disconnect the Wi-Fi. The two cable here, they are just like Lego. You can pull it straight up. Remove the screw and slide the Wi-Fi card to your right. This is your CMOS battery. If you want to disconnect, just simply slide the connector down to disconnect the um, CMOS. This is your speaker. Again, slide the connector down. The speaker here is for your left or right. This is another speaker on the other side. Let's disconnect the keyboard backlighting. Open up the clipper, slide the cable down. This is for your touchpad, clipper, slide it down. Keyboard, clipper up, slide it down. This is just a lighting at the bottom of your keyboard. Open up the clipper and slide it down. This connection right here is in between the motherboard and the I.O. board. This I.O. board here draws the USB signal over the bridge on this cable back to the motherboard. This is your LCD screen. You can just push the cable away from you, pushing that direction away from you to disconnect it. Remove the tape. We're going to put it on the side here. All right, let's start taking things apart. I like to remove the CPU fan. Disconnect the connector by sliding to your right and this CPU fan this, this disconnect by pushing it away from your body. Push it out that direction. Let's go ahead and remove the heat sink as well. Alright, so the screw doesn't come off the heat sink, it just stay there. You just need to loosen up the uh, the screw. So while you're holding at it, you see the Wi-Fi antenna is sliding in between the heat sink. Make sure you remember doing that later on. Same thing for your LCD screen, that cable is slide in between that connection. So flip it around, you can actually look at the Thermal pads, these are what we call the thermal pads and the thermal paste. So the thermal pad is conducting heat from the chipset. So this is what we call the chipsets, right? So it's pulling off the heat on, onto the thermal pad and then goes 
into the copper heat sink and the fan would exhaust out the hot air. Your CPU and your graphics card. Okay. So if you want to apply, if your computer is overheating, meaning that over time the thermal pad gets dried up or the thermal paste get all dried up, get yourself an alcohol wipes, wipe it down and apply with the new thermal paste on it. Okay, so the next step I like to do is to remove the motherboard. And there you go, you just remove the entire motherboard. If you want to find a replacement part on the motherboard, probably you have to look it up here. GH51Z VGA plate. Oh no, sorry, this one, GH51M LA-K861P. All right, so I guess the motherboard was built in year 2020. Okay, that was during the COVID time. So, hope everyone is okay, especially your loved one and your family members. So let's go ahead and remove the two screw. This is where the hinges for your LCD screen. What you can do is open up the hinge at 90 degree angle and now you can slide the entire keyboard out. So if you take a look at the keyboard, it is one piece together, the entire cover here, the keyboard touchpad palm rest, it is all one piece together on this on the back part of it all right so if you have a broken keyboard if you spill something on the keyboard and you try to change that one single key or just the keyboard itself the answer is no you're not able to do that because the keyboard is all built in in one piece all right so if you have any question do not forget to comment i do read your comment and answer those questions <laughs> And if you find the video is helpful to you, please subscribe and give me a like. I really appreciate you for liking the video and subscribing to my channel. And if you want to buy any of the tools, the replacement part, I'll do my best. I'll link them in the description below where it would direct you to Amazon or eBay to find that replacement part. I did make a separate video for the benchmark, exactly uh, this laptop here to stress, to stress test the GPU and the graphics card and give you a better idea um, whether this laptop is a worth buying for your needs or not. So check it out. I'll link that right somewhere here in the box for you to do that. Thanks for watching again. Before you go, smash the like button. Bye now.